Good morning. Good morning. You're late and stupid. I'm ducking you a day's pay.
Hey, douchebag! sure everything's working right first stream in a while man knocking off some rust what do we got here some blender what were we working on last time so on sunday or sunday the other day we finished this this is our 3d card starting with our dog ted here he's our first uh let's see where are we let's see i don't want to break anything <laughs> Quite a tricky setup here. Let's see. So here we are, Mr. Ted. Let's see. You won't be able to see it. I mean, you can, it'll show the back, but when it renders, it doesn't show the back. <laughs> you can see inside. You see. You should have a, I think I have a rendered one somewhere, but there's our, there's our card we finished yesterday. When it renders it, okay, see how all this is? When it renders, we can do this. F12, we can render a single shot. Okay, second, renders each layer separately, puts them together, some kind of magic. One, two, three, bam. And now that space background is gone. So, so when it card turns, it actually hides the back of this card too, so it, you can see for infinity on the sides. Kind of cool. And these stakes right here. This is Pet Dreams. Our our Ted here. He was dreaming, and this is his first. This is what he's dreaming of. Some stakes, space stakes. <laughs> All right, way. All right, so we're gonna start from scratch, though, with something new today. We're gonna have to figure this out. <clears throat> so Ted is 52% Boston Terrier, 17%. <laughs> Rottweiler, 17% Pitbull, and 5% a mix of some other. Here. Let's get out of this one. Let's start it back up. Boop. Where do we have any older ones where we didn't make it yet? Let's see if we can start with the card. File. Recent. What do we have recently? We've made new card. New card blend. Base dog, new card. This is way back. What's up, live cats? Oh, man, dude, I was making, uh, trying to experiment with some NFTs, but I, so I was learning, I was learning over the weekend, or over the weekend, I've been learning how to, you know, learning blender the last few months 10 months and blender and learning all kinds of video audio stuff and so now i'm trying to apply them our first project is what you just saw there so let's i'll, I'll show you what we got here <laughs> oh man oh man oh man oh man this is our next project <laughs> uh, mike tyson's punch out clue right here but that was my old that was my original but then i stopped because i was let's see where was the open recent? Let's go to Ted. So this is our final product we were working on over the weekend. So, so I wanted to make an infinity card. We should. Well, we do have a the the finished version over here. Not finish, <laughs> like Sweden and finish. We have the finished da version. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, I forgot where I put it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I used all my brain cells yesterday, man, making that. I mean, once you learn it and stuff, then, you know, I'm sh the next time I do it, it's going to be a lot easier. But the first time you do it, you know, because you don't know what rhyme or reason, what's hiding in the back of the card is the hardest part. <laughs> Let's see. Hiding the back of this card. So, like, here, look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Check this out. Bam. Look, so it gets blocked or masked or whatever. <laughs> so. We copied a YouTube video how to make the infinity background, but we made everything else from we made everything from scratch just using their things and a lot of trial and error and backtracking. So anyway, so there's all this stuff, dude. Don't do it. Don't touch nothing. Do not even breathe. Because I finally thought I had it yesterday and I went to render it. And you know, when you render shit stuff, it takes forever. Making millions, use them all up. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, use them. Not making anything yet. Just having fun learning. Learning art stuff. So yeah, back you go. You're right here, man. I, I was rendering it. I'm like, well, it, it fixes it when it renders it, which is true. But then all of a sudden, you could see a peak. And all of a sudden, I see it wasn't blocking this. I'm like, no. This was like 4 o'clock yesterday. But luckily, I was able to. You, you got to go to composting and wire all the crap in here. <laughs> it's such... Ooh. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Can we, uh, there we go. Give us the image back, please. Don't see, don't break nothing, man. But it usually has the image right now. It's just not it's saving. Oh, we're not in render mode. Anyways, so there's the back of the card. That's the trick of it. And, uh, let's see what's got it here. Let's go see the final product. Where was he at? <laughs> right over here so mm -hmm. <sighs> whoa 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 <laughs> uh, that wasn't it uh, where was he where was he I'm sore I do have more organized but all right here he is final here we are, here's the card. Final product. Oh, with the PNG? <laughs> shit, that shit, that's the PNG. <laughs> uh, I need the MP4. That's it. Thought it was 10 seconds. Yeah, dude, I'll definitely, yeah, I you know I get, re not that I get a lot of requests, but, because I haven't been streaming that much last year, off and on and stuff, but, I always get, I get the metal detecting question a lot, so yeah, man, I think I'll probably do it. Oh, this isn't, this, this is the first one, this is, this is the first idea coming in the, this is actually not bad, that's pretty basic, it actually, that's actually, I like the simpleness, so this is the first card I've made, when i so I learned that I learned all when I was watching that video. This is I was learning the examples and I used my own crap. Then I made it my own. I probably I'll probably use this card. It's not bad. Yeah, I'll probably do that because I do. Well, that dog right there is actually my new dog. So because our old dog was sixteen Sparky, sit? this is our sit? new dog. Oh, paw, paw, good boy, Teddy, you shake. Falls over. Teddy? Okay. He does double paw. Good boy! <laughs> double shake! Good boy! So, Good boy. he's about six months now. He was born on the 4th of July, or the 5th of July. He was born, I think, July 5th. Um, So, by the time... April, so by the time, you know, because it's cold as crap here in Michigan right now anyways... So he'll be able, I'll be able to bring him along, you know, and hey, I'll be able to bring him along and tag along, dude. So I'll be able to like have a little stake him in the ground with a long ass string and uh, we can metal detect and maybe he can dig some crap out for me. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll think of some better spots for some metal detecting streams. So yeah, I'll definitely do that. I get asked that. The outdoor streams, so 
Yeah, I think I will do that. And especially now that technology, even the last few years, even just, you can do it with any camera phone, but now, you know, it's a lot easier. It's easier on your phone processor now to stream. Even though I didn't have a problem even years ago, just, it's pretty actually, oh, okay. Where's, I'm just looking for something for my own sanity right now. old card but yeah I'll find some better spots where we can uh, like get something yeah man thanks for stopping by I'm yeah I was just firing up today for an hour make sure all this stuff's working right yeah lurk on I'll probably be streaming till like 5 30 or so but uh thanks for stopping by cats let's see Hey, douchebag! And, uh, yeah. I'll probably be, be around myself, so I'll be able to uh, peek in on your actions and... <laughs> well, that sounded dirty. <laughs> Alright, man, they're gone, buddy. I'll be playing games, too, in the near future, but not today. We're just messing around. We're just messing around, because that's the new settings and whatnot. Where was my finished card? Is it? Oh, that's the PNG. Is, oh, is it? No, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Oh, did I actually put a name to it? Here it is. No, that's PNG. PNG! Alright, where's my MP4? I have it. Wait, wait. Here's the final MP4. What's all this crap? Teddy? Oh, can you sit? Sit? Oh. Paw? Huh? Paw? Huh? I lost it. Okay, that's the PNG. <laughs> I'm so unorganized all the time. Oh, what's up, Sluggy? Oh, man, it's just, uh... It's like a barcode. I know you're kind of messing, but... It's like a barcode, that, just a digital way to keep track of stuff. And, uh... Right now, it's applied to mostly just, uh... Digital pictures and paintings and digital stuff, but, uh video games are starting to incorporate stuff so like games that are like play to earn games instead of uh you know using their in-game currency you can make real money by uh playing certain games and using a character you bought an nft is just what you call the the, the number on it it's basically so you can buy nfts that represent a character and you can go into meta worlds uh you know a lot of it's so new and stuff right now but i'm gonna start dip in a few times a week just to show you guys some of the stuff but uh, yeah it's just uh nft is just like uh it can be anything man it could be a picture of your thumb dude as long as you put it on sorry i can show you right here all right all right so here's an example so i was making some learning how to do stuff over the weekend this was a card i made <laughs> this was a card i made using blender and uh it's supposed to be an infinity card, so when you look on the sides, it goes on forever. And when you render it, it blocks out this stuff. So this is just my dog. I was looking for the final product, so I can show you guys what I made yesterday. And I'm going to put this as an NFT, and so we can show you guys. So let's find it. I'll put it for sale right now, man. I wanted to make it like 5 or 10. Because, uh... Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, I've been working. That's just like a placeholder. You can think of anything. The whole trick with that is the infinity card. You know, you watch somebody on YouTube do it. They had it through another program, some Adobe programs. Like I, when I first started NFTs, like not 10 months ago, I still don't. It's still, you know, you get, you hear that word so often you get mad. But it, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just, I'll show you right now, man. Where's, uh, where is 
I'm trying to put, put one on sale right now. All right, so I need new folder D, blind you guys, new volume D, comp one, MP4, and I'll show you my MP4. All right, there it is. Let's send this to desktop. All right, close that. All right, so here it is. Infinity, the background disappears. You can see for infinity, so that's an infinity card I made. I can, you can make the camera do whatever. You can show the back if you want, but I just, I like this angle because all that erases and it's infinity. You can, so there we go, man. That's just my dog, Ted. He's a puppy now. He's only six months old, but that'll be him full grown. And uh, you can stop it wherever you want. So look, boom. Look at that. <laughs> the stakes do rotate. If you if you look, the the stake and the dog do slightly move because he's in space. So they do slight. And that's how I want it, just slightly to move. <laughs> like the stake. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so boom. That's my infinity card. I want to put some. I'm going to put like a Mike Tyson's punch out line, you know, each character because they're only. But uh, so that's my original idea there. Not the, the the Infinity Card's not an original idea. I saw that people make Infinity stuff and apply them to different types of things, but half the battle is learning how to make that card. Now I can go back and we can, you know, put in different animals. I mean, you can do whatever your brain can think of. I mean, you can make the card however you want. A lot of this right here is uh, the uh, textures I used for it. You can, like, f I looked up foil texture and, you know, you can, like, look up real cards, you know, your fucking Yugo guys. But anyway, so that's that. And then places that sell NFTs are like your Netflix and Hulu's, and there's a lot of different places, but a lot of people will use uh, right here. Let's go here. Let's see if we have, we have any. So I'm going to go to OBJKT. Because this, uh, this is, a lot of it uses Ethereum or Tezos. Ethereum... NFTs, you have to pay a gas fee like thirty dollars to hundred dollars every time you post it. This one is for this one has a lot of artists from around the world. An NFT can be anything. People who who have insane talent, you know, it might take them six months to sell something. Right now, it's so hard to find stuff, but it's a fun. Once you get a few and get the hardest part is getting your crypto wallet, and even if you don't plan on like. Tr you don't have trade crypto you just use it as the currency right now is you know it's just throwing little video game money so i'm gonna let's see what we have right now uh, I, uh oh we got a lot where's my crap all right here we go oh. <laughs> these are ones i made uh these are things I've made. I haven't really sold on them because you, you, as you make something, have an idea, you'll make it. And then you learn other stuff and you're like, oh, I can make this better. These are cubes. These cubes I didn't make. These were cubes I used as uh, this dude who makes these cubes. Does a lot of good tutorial videos. But I, I <laughs> so these are five Tez. A Tez is about three to five dollars. So these are only about two bucks a piece. But this is some Gary V guy that. He's big in NFTs. Anyways, but here's uh, where's my collect owned brother, owned. So these, <laughs> so you know, some things you buy are cool. Some things you buy because you hope you know down the road may become value. Most of this stuff is stuff I liked, and because it's a lot of it, seventy percent of this is cheap enough. You know, five to a dollar to like five dollars to you know ten dollars, but. I mean, like a box like this, I haven't opened this box yet, but this has like four or five NFTs in it. And uh, so there's a lot of fun stuff, man. Like there's some, this Tezos, you can get insane stuff right now for just cheap because it's it's artists. So they, this guy, this guy, for example, sold 21, 21 copies of this. And then this, this is actually more of an expensive one. 25 copies he sold for five so normally somebody like this would go to open c open c 
is the place where you buy the flip where you can flip them any nft but this is where you buy though you'll you'll see some good art don't get me wrong but this is where you see all the dumb things that you can make that and you're like why is that worth money well <laughs> this is uh oops so what i'm doing right now is connecting my wallet i've already got one of these so mina mask i've actually <laughs> Uh, what's going on here? Oop. But I've got some digital resources. I've got a bunch of stuff because the game, all the games and, and are in beta. Not all of them, but so I have some characters. Like I have some wrestlers. I've got some other things for like a Smash Brothers NFT game. So I have these characters just sitting there and I'm getting offers on some of them. So once, you know, the games become playable, like I have a pinball machine one where they play like uh, Frogger and Pac-Man and you can win currency, but all of it's just kind of so new right now that Somebody, I have 145 USD in there. I don't know how that got in there, but I'll take it. <laughs> All, right. All right. So these are some of my, like for, so this is one of my big dogs. This is a, oh wait, that's for weapons, but uh, never mind. So this is uh, an NFT. <laughs> This is a fun. These are made. This is my made, made by RK NFT. They're gonna. They're coming out with another one. Um, but they have different cabinets and different styles. And uh, I don't even. I haven't even taken a deep dive into my. Oops. <laughs> Oops. I started the game. <laughs> so you can play a game on this one. And uh, they're running a tournament now, but I don't have the arcade machine, but I had this Toad Runners arcade machine, and uh, it's a Frogger-based game. You can play it on full screen if you if you log in. I just have from their website and stuff, but you can play this, and then you can be on a leaderboard with other people, and you win in real mind. If you don't, if you think, like, NFT, the, uh, you know, the Bitcoin and all that crap is, is funny money, you can just, as soon as you win, you can just cash it in, man. So there's no, you don't have to hold and you do whatever you want anyway so i have a bunch of games and uh, we made some our own things over the weekend as far as uh other stuff what were we looking at so oh we were gonna look at the uh, opens so we got so we wanted objkt what were we gonna do i think i set it up all right hopefully all right so we have <laughs> Profile. Oh, we want create. All right, we should have let's see tokens. So we what we have a collection. I want to use my pet. So it's called Pet Dreams 3D Card Collection. We put the we put the you make a collection. This is you make it. You just drag a picture of. Uh, to use and then you put a title just like you know posting a YouTube video or whatnot but anyway so title of this one uh, so this is a token um, this will be our first we made the collection already so now we need to upload a file so we need to find our dog that we use and it's an under desktop uh, I don't know why I keep having it from here let's go to our desktop and drag it in there so NFT could be anything you could be You know, right now, a lot of the things that were popular at the beginning of summer that a lot of people flipped are not worth much now. But what's becoming big now is like NFTs with utilities like that. You can like I was talking, you can play games with and stuff like that. Or they promise you different stuff than the future. But let's see. Desktop and uh, let's get this going. So we already made our NFT. And... uh 
There we go. What are we doing here? What are you doing? Just drag it, dude. All right. So this is our NFT. Bam. I was going to wait till we have five or so, but I just won't. Half the battle is getting noticed anyways, because you want to have a... You want to have a few, like at least three, so they can have a comparison. Maybe they have a dog that looks like this. I'll probably, who knows what I'll make next. But anyway, so there it is. Then they want a cover. A cover, we already did that. That's our PNG of this. So let's go grab our cover. That's just the PNG. It only holds a certain amount of memory. So sometimes they'll say your file's too big and you just yeah they're picky on just the, the cover photo that doesn't do anything but right. where is that final png please there it oh. Which is under final. All right, here's the cover. Okay, they accepted that. That's always good. <laughs> All right, did they? All right, yeah. Title. This will be called. Uh, I'm just trying to think of what people look up. Is it going to be under a card collection? I don't, I don't have, it's under a collection called cards. When people look up cards, and I don't want to put up card, but I'm going to put card in the, the, the title just so if, I, if people look up card. Let me see. What the fuck is people calling? Phone's ringing, dude. It's BS. They made it up. Did I spell infinity wrong? I am fin. Ah. In fin. Pet Dreams is a collection of 3D cards set on an infinity. All right, 
Additions. We will put the number of copies that can be minted select between one and 10,000. So we are just a new scrub artist. So you want to get attention. So you don't want to price anything too high. And then Twitter is a really good place to advertise. But the number of copies that can be minted, we really will put uh, 50. And you can always burn them. That means delete them down the road. But we'll start with 50 copies. Set percentage of, say so the cool thing with NFTs is you get royalties. So, say you, usually it's about 0 and 25%. And so I usually go, it doesn't matter. That's, I usually doesn't really matter. I've sold enough that doesn't make a difference, but a lot of people go around 19, 20, 19, around 20. It doesn't really matter. All right. So then we go mint and then you can do other stuff. I think that's where you can set the category where you're going to put it. I think So right now it's just uploading it. Oh shit. It does cost a fee. So my wallet is already this is a different wallet so oh, we can just do it from here i'm used to doing it on my phone so so this is wallet this wallet's asking permission blah 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 and it's gonna take it costs like 50 cents this is the tezos platform um there's different tezos is just the currency that all these different stores use uh, the big ones right now are objkt uh, only well, you can see what I have had the most of. Pen, which went down and came back. Uh, call X hash is new or new or becoming popular. Anyway, that doesn't matter. You can go check yourself, but the popular ones here are Hen, OBJKT that I've used. Kelement, I don't know how to pronounce that one. And uh, a few others. So we go back to there. It's the indexing. And once it's in there, your number's in there. There's no way to hide. Like people, there's lots of scams, don't get me wrong, but so people, you can see, once you know somebody's address, you can go back and see, like the cool thing is it keeps a permanent record and it's all public. Um, and you can see who's on the NFTs. Now, these are just Tezos. Like I said, we'll go to OpenSea. That's where like the more expensive, um, where it's, uh, you have to pay a fee just to buy something because it's called gas fee, but that's where you'll find you can find somebody's you know you'll see some like a popular uh, social media person one of the paul brother dudes you know they'll tweet something about an nft then if you if you're smart if you you see that nft whatever they say it doesn't matter if the nft sucks but if somebody popular or becomes gets steam you buy that fast and then even if you don't believe in it you just say okay well look at all these idiots about the, the crappy nft that he he pointed out well, then you just sell it the next day if you can get it for a decent price. But easier said than done. But those, those are examples. So I'm just loading my NFT that I made. I was going to do it later, but. All right, here we go. It's in. It's in. It's in, dude. NFT, boys. <laughs> oh, we got Ted Bear. Infinity card. So now. Oh, oh, I haven't put it for sale yet. Audition. 50. Value. We're gonna go. The one Taz right now is about five bucks. So we'll go point four nine. All right. No advanced sales. Blah, blah, blah. We don't want to do an auction. Just want to put it for sale and share it. That way, are we good? Uh, what else we got to do? List right here. All right. Oh, you got to do that trip. The, the cookie wallet. What's it called? Uh, Kuka. Kukai wallet. Kukai. Kukai. <laughs> People are shaking their heads. Will you hear this? Not pronounce that. All right, dude. Where's Ted Bear? Are we on? Are we on? Are we on the blockchain, dude. Look at that. Infinity card. Dude, I. 
I spent all weekend doing it. Then yesterday, I finally was doing the finishing touches, you know, just doing stuff like, you know, adding the letters and crap. So then when I went to render it, you could see the back. I couldn't see the back of the card, so I thought I was going to work. And then all of a sudden, I went to render it, and it takes, at least, you know, an hour. And then you could see the, everything behind her. I'm like, no! And then you don't you get to troubleshoot why it happened. And I haven't made enough of these to know why. So, but we figured it out. And they learned a lot. Now I know. You get to you get to tell it how, like, the blender how to render, like layers to render. So when it's seeing something, it's uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't understand. My brain was smoking. Anyway. All right. Let's uh, go back. Let's reset. All right. So there we go. Pet dreams. Oh, that could be better, but. Oh, well, we'll switch that. We can mess that stuff. You can mess around on your phone. So anyways, can we share this? How do you share this? I mean, I know how to share it up here, but how do you share it? All right. What's this going? Let's explore, shall we? All right. And this is where you check your activity. On Tezos form, I mostly buy stuff that you like and once in a while something might come up but most of this stuff is bought at cheap enough price where you just buy it because you like it um these things are cubes uh i've sold a few of them a couple <laughs> activity that was like two weeks ago but that was my only sale and when i was out that, that was pretty cool because I mean, even the super talented people it's hard to get your stuff sold because it's so much it's a pool of infinity it's hard to narrow down stuff but Let's see if I can narrow down my stuff. Let's see if we looked up uh, cards. Let's wanna see what pops up. Let's see if we can weasel out. Oh, is there categories of cards? Pet dreams. All right, let's go. Collection. All right, let's go. What's this thing in pets? See what happens. I just want to see how these things filter. See if I got any buzzwords in there. Collection. There's some cards. Oh, I got some other infinity cards. I haven't looked at anybody else's. Okay. So we got some infinity cards right there. All right, these are just normal. On OpenSea, you can narrow down cards, but I'll just put mine in and see what goes. Let's see. Okay. Why are these firing up? Because I'm typing in pet cards, huh? I guess cards is what this, it's firing up cards. I just want to see if I could find myself with a random search. Seeing how hard it is. Like, oh. Tazards, bunch of fake tazards on here. All right, the look. Oh, that's cool. All right. Type in trading card. Man, these aren't trading cards, man. Why are these people? Oh, maybe mine hasn't hit yet. You know what? That's my first one. It takes like 20 to 30 minutes. So, all right. All right. Oh. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not on there yet. It's going to take like five minutes to half an hour. Yeah, 
I'm not on there, but there's not a lot of cards on the OBJKT. <laughs> you know what it means to me? What does that even stand for? OBJKT. You know what it means to me? Blah, 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 blah. All right. So anyways, that's that. That's that. So here's some games and stuff. Do we have anything we can do today? No, we can do. Let's race a horse. Let's race a horse. Let's race a horse. Oh, shit. I haven't fired up anything. Today was like a test stream. Make sure we got everything working right. All right, what do we have here? Zed run. Check your email, fool. All right. We'll do that. Go back to your original tab. Should be good. Here we go. my account it's been a while Upgrade in progress. Why don't you start this process, can that be? So there was new uh, things added to the game. I haven't. All right, we got an upgrade in process. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Can I touch stuff? Can I leave the screen? You can continue navigating the site and use your resources as usual once they are upgraded. Okay. I'll just go here. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. And, uh, let this bugger up.
That's an awful lot of money for the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Do we have any... I'll be back. The force is strong with you. Thank you. Well, get used to it. Because that's my main move. Sure not. Well, this upgrade in progress. Well, you can see my horses. Want to see? Hey, little boy. <laughs> hey, little girl. You want to see my horses? <laughs> hey, Nick. Do you want to see my horses? So you name your horses, and if you, a lot of times you don't. If you name a horse, that means it hasn't been raced yet. And if it hasn't been raced, you don't know if it's going to be good or bad. <laughs> so, uh, you pre-rate, you know, it's like you don't want to waste a name, but then you do. And then, uh, I'll go. found a new thing called polypop where you can incorporate these 3d stuff into your streams but uh we use that placeholder is in right now basically so hooded cobra commander i am cardi b sparky lynn victory fire that was named boomerang bob was he's my big he's my z10 Z10 through 1 are the ones that uh, have the best breeding things, statistics, so get one of those that it increases your odds of giving a better horse, but I don't really have any good horses yet. But you can race in free races, you can race in like $2 races where there's less competition. We're just going to pick whatever races today. Some people use strategy, try to only race their horses, but... We don't have that many good horses right now. So, look, sometimes if you get a horse with some early wins, you might slow racing them and just sell them for more expensive or sell them for more money. But so far, a lot of horses are duds, but you never know what you're going to get. So we're going to try to race a couple once this thing is progress. We haven't played the game in a long time, so.
It says three minutes. Holy shit, someone just bought something from me. Oh my god, speaking. <laughs> yeah, Sluggo. Um, well, I've lost a lot of money and made a lot of money. And people of all smartness levels have had the same thing happen. Um, but now that, because, you know, I mean, the NFTs have been around for about two or three years. But basically this year or last year, starting like in, in February was like the rookie year for NFTs where it's 30, only like 95 of the, only like 5%, not a lot of people have even crypto wallets and it's an intimidating thing and you know I'm a half idiot so, but I like to do complicated things like game, uh, Kerbal Space Program and games like that so <laughs> it fit right in for stumbling my way around. So I have made money, so when early on, you know, you don't know what you're doing. Say someone even gave you, say someone gave you $2,000 to put in your pocket. You, it's fun buying after you don't know what's going to be big. And a lot of people don't know. You don't even know. You don't know what. You don't have anything to base it off of. But now I follow some discords with some smart people that, you know, just through Twitter and finding people you can trust and stuff. Um, yeah, so now I've been making money. I have right now, it's a I, I'm kind of chilling. I, I, you know, I gotta start making, I gotta get some more real life money. So, you know, you know, you'll I'll buy like, you know, right now I've been, you know, putting like three it's like every two weeks, I've been buying like an MT that's like 300 bucks. That's those are bought on, on, on the Ethereum blockchain, which is OpenSea. And uh, we'll show you that right now. Something just sold on mine, too. Something that I bought that. I bought that I thought wasn't that good. It's cool NFT, but I didn't buy it to be cool. <laughs> the ones you saw on De the Tezos, I buy those because I like them. But okay, so let's, I'll show you what the hell we're talking about. What are you talking about, man? Oh, this is the wrong browser. Oh, okay, we're good. All right, so something just sold to mine. It is similar to stock trading, um, but you know, right now people don't believe it. i didn't believe it because i can't even explain it but smart people like gary v and you just got to find the right people to follow because there's this it's so new and there's so many people talking bullshit and there's so many people scamming people so what happens is people basically will make a project like ten thousand characters of the same thing but they all have a little bit different you know one might have an orange hat one might have a you know only five of like ten thousand might have an orange you know what i mean it's just like stock trading to return if you're right so what i was doing you buy like say if, if you do right now there's so many it's hard to do it but like six months ago it was easier so say you buy four nfts two are gonna suck one's gonna hit and one is if you wait long enough it will probably hit so hey, that was going around but now anyway now it's a lot harder because there's so much crap but now i've made more connections as far as people to follow so i found more trusting sources to get information but anyways here, let, me show, let me show you something just happened activity so so i i had some money saved away f and so you know i i started spending buying stuff some stuff sucked and some st you know you can't tell something like this right here might be worth freaking money and it's just well now i can tell why there's more ways that you can tell a lot of times it's with the team and if it's if, you know a lot of times it is just advertising and who and whatnot what makes it the quick flip is what you want to do and there's so much money to be made in the quick flip uh like these wrestlers i bought for cheap and there's an actual game coming out that i can use them for Okay, so something just sold a mine that I bought. I thought it was cool, but it's not. It's something that wasn't worth money. But okay, let's go to activity, dumbass. Something that I didn't make. Something I bought just because I didn't know what I was doing. 
when I first started, someone just bought it. So where is it? Activity. So this is what I had. These are one of the first things I bought. Let me see. This is pretty cool. I didn't know because I had more money in my account than I usually do. All right. So where's the 3D light? Yeah. So one of these things. These are super cool, but. Oh, whoa. Why is this a thousand dollars? Someone just bought mine for a hundred and thirty one dollars, though. And now they're selling it for a thousand. <laughs> well, I don't know what just happened. Did somebody buy one for that much? Are these are these worth money now? All right. So then you can see here who bought it, man. Like if right now there, there's a lot of celebrities like uh, mostly right now it's um, let's say musicians that are in the NFTs. But like you'll see I one of the Wu-Tang members um, starts with an A Quan or whatever. I bought, <laughs> I bought, <laughs> bought one. Actually, I bought the same one he was trying to buy, but his name will be under it, but not. Anyways, you can see whose names are under them, but most times it's nobody you've ever heard of, but it keeps track of everything. Anyways, uh, someone bought mine an hour ago for $135. I don't, why is, I have, to, I have another one, but it's a different one. So that's, is he selling for a thousand dollars? Cause that's how it works too. There's a lot of, uh, <laughs> I'm happy I sold that's $135. Uh, now I can cash that if I wanted to, I can send that right to my bank account. But you know what I normally do, I would wait till you reinvest in something else. <laughs> but no, no, if I make a big score, like say I sold something for $500, I would put 300 in my bank account and then, then reinvest in, a, in a, another NFT. But that's what you do a lot too. But so that's cool. Sold that. Um, oh, did I lose money? Well, yeah, to me right now, I made money because I considered this thing toast, bro. You know what I mean? Like if you have a baseball card, like the, a rookie year, the guy might be awesome. Then, the, then all of a sudden he fizzles out and the guy just stinks. That card's never going to be worth anything again. That's how I figured. The, the, I mean, well, the thing is, you, if you try to buy things you like, um, then you're not bummed if it doesn't sell. But a lot of the stuff when I was, I was just buying straight up to sell. So, um, yeah. Well, I don't know how much. I, well, you, you can see how much you originally bought it for. So I'm gonna see if I can figure that out. Oops, what's going on here? Nope. That's the NFT. Is a pretty cool guy. Oh shit. Oh well. Yeah, you want to sell when it's hot. And a lot of it's seeing... Tr Once you just, you know... Half the battle is just getting your, your little uh, crypto wallet, you know? Get like 100 to $300. Because with this site, this is OpenSea. This uses Ethereum. Ethereum, there's a gas fee. So depending on how many people are using it at one time, that's how much it is. So for example, right now, gas is... If I was to buy anything on this whole thing. So that's why you don't see a lot of cheaper things on here. This is like stuff when you buy something on, on the open sea, you want it to you want it to flip it. Um I do have some awesome yeah, Ethereum. Yes. Bob, the other one's Tezo, but basically what you do, you you get a Coinbase wallet. Your Coinbase wallet. This guy, once you get this Coinbase wallet set up, you link this to your bank or PayPal. If you don't trust a bank, link it to your PayPal. And then you either can insert cash or you just pick the currency you want and it does it for you. There's a small fee. It's no big deal, ATM fee, two to three bucks. Uh, they do that. Once you do that, then you can send it. So then I send it to OpenSea. Your address is right here. They use Ethereum here. We'll show you what that looks like. So. Right here. Uh, ooh. I gotta sign in and then we're connected. Uh, profile. 
But anyways, all this stuff or, or open sea. Let's go explore. So yeah, if you just randomly pick crap off of here, yeah, you're gonna lose. But um, so I'm part of this Discord, which I will show you right now. Early guys, you know, I just randomly found, but this is called the Zen Discord. This dude, I got in early. If you're in it early enough too, there's rooms that you can see that. Um, but it's it's super friendly people willing to share knowledge. But part of the bonus of being in this Discord is that if you're in early enough, you you uh you can get in some locked rooms with information. But so here's an example. Here's an older. Mar so he marks stuff. He'll tell you. So this is uh, these are alpha. This is where I get information. So here's an alpha alert. This and it says right here high risk, blah blah blah. So he's just giving you. Uh, his uh, information, if you can get one of these cheap enough, blah, blah, blah. But here's the last one that I did go into. So there's an alpha hub. Um, just people talking about what, you know, they like and blah, blah, blah. But then Zen will go, oh, Zen. Zen had this dire picks room. And that's Zen's dire picks. So these are things where you just, this, the, Zen's the guy who made this. And everyone, he just organically got a following and, uh, and people trust him. So he, yeah. so his last one for me that I went in was uh, the eight motherfuckers. And uh, his last one were these Mita Angels. But, hmm. Ah, uh, Taka. Anyways, you can get good information in here. And then you can apply it. So if you if you did have some extra, is it safe? Oh yeah, I mean it's, as far as safe is getting, yeah, it's safe. Um, yeah, you're as long as no one gets your code, and which is very hard. Um, safe, it's safe. I mean you're gonna get ripped off left and right, not in a dirty way. Just you're you're gonna buy NFTs that aren't worth anything. You know what I mean? But I'm able to to to. To weed it down a bit. I mean, you can make some yourself while you're trying to buy some. And figure, it, if you started now, just slowly, just you know, a couple hours a week, slowly learning about this stuff, you're still gonna be ahead of the curve in a year, way ahead. And then, like they call it, new money. When people get excited, all of a sudden you'll be a new batch of people that, you know, like Christmas time. There's a new batch of people play multiplayer games. It's kind of like similar here. So you take advantage of all the people. Around, you know, while around Christmas time, like Call of Duty, you know, you got everyone who just got the console and so much of just noobs running around. That's kind of like every six months with this. People are just buying NFTs, so you'll see something becoming popular. You'll, and you, the NFT, just don't even, like, oh, that thing's, oh, it's a picture of a leaf, you know, whatever. And you're like, who cares what it is? If you buy that leaf early enough, by the end of the day, you might double your money. But um, there's a lot of trial and error. Um, now it's a lot of you're so it was so intimidating but yeah it's safe because uh yeah when you're first doing it you don't know what the trust and blah 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 but open c open c so you, you want a coinbase wallet to start that's the main thing you want a coinbase wallet once you link that um then you get a metamask wallet and then metamask is what ethereum and stuff links to but you use the Coinbase is your hub. That's the most used hub. There's other hubs, you know, there's Coinbase, it might be Netflix, there might be a Hulu hub, but it's called something different. Coinbase is the Netflix. So you link this with your bank account or PayPal. You get a seed phrase. Once you see that 15 word seed phrase, you're like, dude, I'm out. <laughs> but you, once you link it your first time, you don't have to use the seed phrase anymore. You can take a picture of it, but once you're linked in there, and it's just a matter of the only thing you can do wrong is is send the, the you know buy the the wrong currency you didn't want and or try to buy something when gas is high. So right now to buy some on Open Sea ETH gas, how much is the gas right now? So to buy something right now, it would be seventy eight dollars. So anything I want from this anything you want what's popular you want to <laughs> so you want to make it count <laughs> so this is where 
you know, when you buy something on OpenSea or using Ethereum, the reason is because there's a gas fee. There's other, there'll be things in the future where, but people respect this one the most. You know, it's it's the top brand as far as the ETH currency and collectibles and, uh, but this is just random crap. So <laughs> CryptoPunks is one of the biggest ones. Um, oops. And these are big timers, but you can just see. All right. See, they don't look like much, but it's got a huge community. A lot of times it's just about like, you know, like the Nike jump, man. It is just about having the semblance and, you know, people now use them as avatars and it's kind of cool being part of a group who, how dumb it is. You know, you might find an NFT that you like, you know, they might be into some kind of show or shit. You like anime or something. Anime is actually kind of big right now. So, or now, but in, it's trending right now in NFTs. So let's load a high. Let's buy one. <laughs> How much is this? Oh, that's nice. It, it's just out of me. But. So that's open C. That's where you want that. Tezos is a cheaper one. That's like your practice. Tezos is just the same thing. You use your Coinbase wallet, but you buy the Tezos. Right now, Tezos is $3. You don't even, it's just all, whatever their money is. Xbox bucks. Pretend it's Xbox bucks. Uh, it's the cool thing is, yeah, as long as it's super safe. So, media mask wallet, yeah, it's media. Oh, uh, Mita, you know what? Here. Here's the here's the Mita mask is the I'll I'll, I'll the I'll, I'll put some links in here, but yeah, it's M E T A. But once you, once you get the hardest part and most intimidating part is getting your wallet. So you basically, you want the hub one, that's Coinbase, that's where you link it to your bank counter PayPal, and then MetaMask is to buy the Ethereum, and the Tezos, that uses a Kukai wallet. But MetaMask is this. Right here. Oh shit, get out of here. I just had it. Thank you. Yeah, Mita, M E M E T A A, or <laughs> can't see it. I gave it. Say. Yeah, there's that. So that's Mita Mass. That's where you, and then you got Open C, and then let's see Coinbase. This is the place. This is where you want Coinbase. Is where this is the hub. That's the hub. That's where you link to your PayPal or that's things. That's the thing you want to do first is your Coinbase and then your Kukai. Kukai, you can do You can link that just with your Google, but you can't add money to it. <laughs> and see what is Kukai, man? That sounds stupid. Well, Kukai is. And this is the one that uses Tez. And this one, and there's no gas fee. So when you buy an NFT, it might cost like 20 cents extra. You know, you know it's, uh, I don't know if this is my wallet, but. So yeah, this is Taz. So basically, yeah, you get like a couple hundred, like 300 bucks, and then you deposit it to Coinbase. Then through Coinbase, you know, you buy a couple hundred dollars worth of Ethereum, send it to your MetaMask wallet. Just send it to your wallet. So you'll have, right now, I have nothing, but you just copy your link right here. Copy. Let's pretend I'm sending it. So then we go, all right. Uh, buy, sell. No, no, no. Nope. So this can use this. So this is my bank account. Buy whatever. I have it linked to my bank account. My girlfriend just got into it. I, you know, I've been doing this for about a year. 
as far as learning it, dude. I just started knowing what I was doing like three months ago. I mean, no one knows what you're doing, but as far as being comfortable. Yeah. No, you can buy NFTs with anything pretty much, but the ones that you flip for money the most are, is ETH. The ones you, I mean, you can flip them to any currency, but the one that were, I'd say it's the easiest and easiest to predict what's going to become hot or you could flip sooner. There's NFTs you can hold. A lot of times there's NFTs you just want to hold because it'll build value over a year. But if you want to do quick flips, yeah, you want to pretty much ETH and uh, um, ETH is what you're going to want to use for the uh, open C. Let's see, open C. open C so this is this is where you buy so once you get the coin base and open C yeah so you can buy Tazos has awesome art it's the arts is equal to like this arts equally as good as uh, the the other the ethereum bought one this is this just uses different currency these are all nfts nft is just the digital code like the barcode and mostly who uses NFTs right now is people selling art. Eventually NFTs will be, you know, your tiger ticket on your phone will be called an NFT. It's not gonna be worth anything because you know, there's 25,000 people have it and no one really wants it, but it'll be technically an NFT. The tiger, your ticket will be called an NFT because it just has, a, it'll be stored on the blockchain. Like, I didn't know, you know, I don't still, you don't need to know any of this, but with just navigating around, you'll learn crap, you know? Like if you, this is stuff's cheap enough on this, you know, like five bucks, two bucks a piece where you, I just buy cool stuff. It's fun. Cause you're a lot of times it's somebody from the Philippines and like they're super pumped. You bought something from them. So they get excited. You bought something and you get excited cause it's kind of cool. And you'll just, you don't even know what to do with these for a while. You don't have to worry about it. Like, what do you do with them? You can put on watches, you can do anything, but there'll be more and more stuff to do with them down the road. But coin best so you want coinbase coinbase and then open c is where you explore that's this word that this is ethereum all stuff on here is mostly ethereum so, so open c is where you buy stuff with ethereum there's other currencies they use but mostly you just get the ethereum's the main one ethereum 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 <laughs> snoop dogg's got one now but and like <laughs> I mean, you can buy this if you want to be part of this. So that's probably what 500 bucks. But so this hasn't been revealed yet. So this just means Snoop Dogg right now. So this is Snoop Dogg, but this will happen with just there's not a lot of celebrities, that, but you'll have people that it's unrevealed. You know, you'll buy you'll you can buy something uh, an NFT for three hundred dollars, and as long as it, and that's where the balance comes in because sometimes if you buy it early and it doesn't sell out. It's gonna be a long time, best case scenario where you make money. So, or sometimes you buy one early and all of a sudden it sells out and it's popular like for a week and you sell it. And then, so you don't, here you don't get attached. I don't buy that many things that I like unless it's to a video game. I just buy things strictly from going to my discord, looking at the, the when they get excited about something, you know, their scale's bigger because they have bigger pockets, but you know, I will buy one of whatever they get excited about versus like once you start building a bankroll, you can buy three of something, one to keep, one to sell, one to blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of fun stuff. It sounds crazy and it is, but I've finally found some good sources of people to trust. And um, a, lot of, a lot of video games are gonna be big this year for them. So a lot of, a lot of video games, especially games that you like, uh, um, so I can send you a list. Look up, uh, yeah. So if you want, um, just look up NFTs with utilities or NFT IOs, and you'll get the video game. That's what's fun. Can we look up that? Let's look up that ourselves before we go. We're about to go anyway right now. Uh, let's go. NFT. I always put video games because this, uh, the biggest one of these right now is Axies. Um, I'm part of this Galaxy Quest, what's so about to blow, come out, but what are NFTs in video games? Uh, yeah, 
not necessarily i mean you could make something really even if you were an insane artist sometimes it takes people six months to sell something sometimes you might some it catches somebody's eye and there's no rhyme or reason so yeah if i were you i would start making things if to get your feet wet i use the tezo blockchain it's way cheaper there's no gas fee you can make 50 dollars last a while if you want on this blockchain it's called tezos so yeah you would put something out say i don't know you like anime make an anime character dude make it for two dollars because there might be 50 people might buy it for two dollars <laughs> but if you make enough stuff you start getting your name out there a little bit somebody might not buy it no matter how good it is you know you for six months somebody might buy it you know you, through you just eventually you'll end up um you know just buying stuff and the artist will thank you on twitter or something and then all of a sudden their friends will be friends with you and all of a sudden you make something you'll have a little bit of an audience so somebody might buy your thing so yeah so you could yeah, definitely you can make sell whatever you know it could be complicated it could be simple it could be a meme it could be funny and yeah and then you could sell them you can sell them with the ethereum but no one's gonna buy your crap unless you're in insane arts but the tezos is where you can make some money you can make put one maybe you want to put you, you don't have to make 20 copies you can make 10 copies and sell it for five dollars i just see a lot of good art for around five dollars you, you know i just started buying like 40 dollar pieces on this chain for investments but on tezos i buy stuff for fun now we can show off some i'll show you some of the fun ones i have some are interactive um some aren't uh oh my dog's finally on there like these are actually legit so i look up this artist has he's got real stuff but this is kind of cool like <laughs> so this was uh uh it's about you know, eight, you know six to ten dollars then I saw someone buy, this guy had like 20 or 15 of this. <laughs> but that's a lot of fun. On the Tezos blockchain, you know, you can collect a bunch for fun. Um, let's see, I've been started buying, these are anime like, dude, these are sweet. I just like the look of these. But then you'll get some people who do, you know, they straight up copycat something and you don't realize. But. So but here, you know, you can you can take some chances and just buy stuff you like. It's kind of fun. <laughs> he made an old skater die. Uh, so let me show you something legit. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ninja Rabbit. <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's fun. So yeah, yeah, so like, oh, sound on? Oh. So yeah, it's NFT, you know, I only got this for two Tez. So that's, right now, it's, a Tez is only worth like th three or four bucks, so at six dollars. But a lot of this stuff, it's fun, just you interact with people and then like, you'll see, oh, who made this? Bad odds, man. And then this is what I do. And also the next thing you know, you have a million NFT friends. <laughs> and also you go, dude, so this is what I do every time I buy one, because they're like two to five people on that platform, especially you can get more personal. And look, so this is what he, I, Twitter is made for exploring NFTs. Once you follow a few accounts, dude. Uh, so I'll just, uh, I'll quote this dude. Loving your stuff. Yo, yeah, well, you will be. Oh, I know. Dude, it is so confusing. Trust me. It's so confusing. But, you know, if anybody like me can... I mean, it takes it takes a while. It takes a while. But you just got to get in there and get your arms dirty. And you won't... You know what I mean? It's like a difficult video game that you're just like, don't even know where to start. Learn in a foreign language. You don't have to worry about the crypto world of trading and shit. 
the nfts right now just use the crypto that's just how you can buy them is with the crypto it's completely i i 100 percent. the only thing you can do is 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 buy something stupid <laughs> it's safe that's what's actually cool about it because it is super safe well clicking on links is the is like anything if you're in these some people will bait you with links and you'll think you're you're buying something and they have some fucking bizarro site so that's the only thing is is like if you're buying from links or like somebody talks to you in chat and wants to trade or something like hey. i mean there's legit trades but you know it's as long as nobody gets your your information it's so hard You'll make mistakes and waste some money just because you're buying dumb shit or maybe buy something you didn't mean to buy or, you know, didn't realize if something was this expensive, but they're mostly self error. And then you'll learn it is ex they're costly errors, but you can minimize them, especially. But yeah, you just got to get dirty a little bit. It's I mean, dirty is just get the wallet set up that's the most intimidating part but trust me you're, they'll ask you for your id you gotta take a picture of your, your id and you're just like forget this dude i don't even but i swear to god talk this time in a year even if you just slowly soak it in trust me i i can i kind of get it now <laughs> I, I can't explain it and people in the know can't explain i have so many good resources though um so that i can give you even with the good resources, it's confusing. So we'll get you, we'll have to figure out, get you a wallet set up. Because then once you get a few and start getting in, getting in there, you, it, it's a lot of fun. So, you know, maybe in a month, slowly, in about a month from now, you'll be like, well, this is pretty fun. But it's hard to explain. But so like this guy, he's, this is, he's, this is a very friendly. He's got all kinds of links. Start here. This is why I like it. Because this dude, go here. Beginner questions. Beginner chat. Because there's so many people just thinking they know. Right now, you know, NFT, just the word NFT, it's so trendy. There's so many idiots capitalizing on it. And like 70% of it is bullshit. But if you sift through it. Because <laughs> by the time the main public, in like a year or two years, when it becomes more and more popular, you'll be so far ahead of the curve. And uh Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me uh Yeah. He I started following this guy, a small following on uh, just happened on um Twitter. Then all of a sudden just be or he organically blew up. Um let's see here. Yeah. This is a good place to go. You still on here, dude? Oh, uh, There it is. So yeah, this is a very, 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 it, it dude's it used to be a professional poker player, but he's so knowledgeable, but so friendly. That's the th cool part about it. And I trust me, I've weeded through so many different things and blah, blah, blah. So, right. Uh, Yeah, yeah, man. So just slowly soak it in. There's no, you just, yeah, the hardest way is get, get, get those two wallets set up, open C, link that when you can. You can do that all on your phone. You just got to take a picture of your ID and give them your, it's good. Because when the first time you do it, you give them your social security, it's last four digits, and then you got to do your ID. When I was doing that, I'm like, this is such a fucking bullshit. This is like a year ago, but it's, it's open C is the most trustworthy one. You can't go wrong. So open C, meet a mask and the Kukai wallet for the Tezo Ethereum. <laughs> this is the test. That's the fine thing you need to know. <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, uh, so then he like, what are they excited about now? So. It's just fun because there's so much knowledge in it. So I, you basically just, you know, lurk the freaking room when they get excited about something. You know, a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's so much information here. So, yeah, this is the place to be. Anyway. All right, six o'clock, man. 
so so yeah dude it's yeah start saving just you know so i mean you don't need a ton of money to get the ethereum stuff going but it's, it's gonna to get your first nft it'll probably cost not i'm talking the ones that you want to flip for money it'll probably cost you about a couple hundred bucks to buy an nft that you can flip so you, you want to have that in your account on hand because sometimes when you first do it get everything set up that's the half the pain you just want to get get like 300 dollars just of ethereum and 50 dollars of tezo or 250 I mean, you can get your foot in the door with ethereum but as far as buying anything that's what you want so get the, even if you don't have money set up the wallet the wallets is 90 percent of the battle and then the start off just get like 250 bucks 300 for your ethereum so that you'll <laughs> when you have less money you have to be a little more selective but you know if you have a thousand dollars then you can buy three or four or five because i know of one lock right now i know of two locks right now let me fucking i know of one lock right now and the lock i have it's probably i have a couple but because you see information the the reason why most projects fail is there's not really there's not really teams but like these guys they know the ins of, like they know if a, like the guy docks people they know people's information they know if a person came from a background or a video game background that's gonna you know what i mean it's just like the video game business but in the nft world um there's clans and blah blah it's it is confusing crazy but trust me you won't you won't go wrong if just get that stuff started man and you don't have to buy anything three hundred dollars. Just let it sit there. <laughs> yeah, and don't get concerned with the trading, like people trading like crypto coins and blah blah. No, you just need Ethereum and the Tezos, and that's all you need. And the wallets, because once you link all the wallets linked up and learn how to do it. You know, because the first time you do a transaction, like copy and paste your address and try to send money, you don't know if it's going to work. It does work almost every time. But sometimes you might click on the wrong currency and try to send it. That's where you can mess up. But it's a, you'll slowly, slowly, there's so much information. It's overloaded and it's annoying. And if you hear the word NFT one more time, you want to punch someone in the face. <laughs> and at the same time, you, you don't like fuck it dude it's too crazy i don't want to but if you just slowly try to learn over the next six months you will be so happy dude you'll be rich i guarantee you not you will be rich in six months but you'll have the knowledge to be rich ahead of the rest because when the rest of the world starts wasting they're wasting money because you don't know what to buy at first that's where you waste money it's not like you're getting a bad product but you know if you want to flip you buy them to flip if you want to keep you buy them on the tezos and i'd use that to keep to make friends and blah 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 anyways all right dude that was fun rambling some crypto with you i had some horses i was gonna race but it's six o'clock uh i thought i did i upgrade complete all races are upgraded so this is kind of the first thing on so this i have six race horses in this i can even give you one of these um just to get a raise this is fun so racing bam oh shit uh, this is all new stuff man they got this is so if you don't want this is so these are and uh, this is an nft technically it's a horse it's a freaking horse and if you buy two and they were expensive but anyway racing so go to racing um you can go to free i think i'm class four so check this out let's see let's see if class four race is available <laughs> yeah so this is right you can buy it. this is called zed run horsey uh, uh this is a free race gate two so i won't win any money but it, it <laughs> oh yeah uh, and you can pick a horse there <laughs> i am cardi b uh, uh, what uh, what race horses uh, can I? Uh, I'm not gonna race now, but yeah. So we'll just uh, next we can we'll watch somebody else run right now. Is there any live? Yeah. Uh, 
So yeah, this is uh, you buy a horse, you can enter races and win real money. Sometimes you can you can enter a race that's two dollars and you can win like twenty. You can enter a race that's fifteen dollars and win some bigger bucks. But you know you gotta make sure. So pretend my horse is one of these horses. So your horse is one of these horses, dude. <laughs> um, let's see. So yeah, and there's different length races: twenty four hundred and three thousand, and you know. So you, your adrenaline's going because you're watching a real freaking race. There's so much, man. That's what I've been doing the last year, just learning. Even not, even if you're not into NFTs for making money, there's so, there's fun things to do with it. <laughs> so I do have a horse. Uh, let's see, man. Let me get out of here. Where's my horses? Where's my stable? What classes are these? D, D, I think that might be new. D, 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 oh, Z14. How can I tell what they are? Z45, 15 races. She's won one. All right, all right. Let's see the race. I just want to see some. Events. Uh, $2. Pick a gate. Pick gate two. Oh, come on. We mean no matching horses. Class four? They had an update, so I don't maybe my I don't know what my horses are class now. Anyways. Hmm. We'll figure this out. <coughs> oh yeah, there's a way. Um, so like you'll race, like say you race five, you get an average of your horse how he finishes in races, and then you can see you'll see your horse eventually gets stats, and there, there's websites to see how good a horse is. So like if you want to buy someone else's used horse, yeah, yep, all these horses are. Uh, um, but yeah, you can buy, well, this one, you buy the horses as an NFT, then you send them over here and then, then you don't have to pay the gas and then you just, you just uh, put some money in here and then, yeah, so yeah, this is another thing. Yeah. So here's my address. You just send here your Ethereum and then here you just get, you get, you know, swap it. But yeah, so anyway, so if you wanted to buy a horse. There's a, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, that you'd have to buy research. Yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. We can get this though. Yeah, so yeah, so Z run. Here's how you do that with Z run. So oh, you go open C. Open C is the one I told you to get. And then you go Z run. And here you go. Z run legacy. And then I would go load a high. So these are probably a lot of people's junker, but you can get in the game for, you know, let's see. These are the cheapest horses. These are $21. See, this, this is where it's deceiving. So $21, today the gas feed's 70 so this would cost you a hundred dollars or whatever, ninety dollars. And these are probably turd horse. But I've also got sources for this, Nick. <laughs> I've got something called Know Your Horses. I have it saved. I just want to see what pops up. Uh, Zed run. Where you can type, the, so you go to open C, type the name of the horse, and you can see if it's raced before. I mean, they, they have some minimal stats, but oh, where is it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, so this is just horses, dude. This is a whole. <laughs> uh, I'm just. So say you see a horse on there, and then. I lost. Yeah, it's been a while. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. So, this is how I would see. This is how I would do it. I would go to here. I'd go to, let's see something legit. Let's see, let's find us something legit. All right, let's just go recent. Uh, we'll go. Uh, recently created. Then we can see if this guy's, if they got turd horses or what. Let's go high to low. What the fuck? Let's be high to low. All right. Just want to give you an example. Oh, so these guys. So yeah, if you get a legit horse, man, if you breed, you might just breed. Once you get a male horse and a, or you can, once you get a female horse, you can breed them yourself or pay a, pay a breeding fee. You can breed like three times a month. Okay, let's just see what Oops is. So Oops is O O O P S. So let's go to know your horses and see what this dude's all about. All right, Oops. Oops. <laughs> let's see. This guy has raced. Let's see. I usually give you more stats. Uh, I think there's another website I used to. Number race is 34. One, zero. So what's his racing? Profit minus. So he is not a good horse for the money they're selling him, unless he's got good bloodline. No, he's a Z628 beauty. Yeah, this thing's a piece of crap. So the hot, the lower the Z, the better. So like a Z10 and below are like the horses you want to breed with. So yeah, this dude's got a turd horse and he's just selling it. So he just put, he put two million on it. <laughs> Sometimes you might get a, a horse like that and it's never been raced but it's like a z1 that just this is all the z's mean the lower it is like one two three or better than a hundred is uh the higher chance so you have to breed a, a, a better horse so say you know but you can buy a horse that's established too but that's gonna cost so much money so it's like sports you want to you want to <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun though discovering if your horse is a dud or a, or a crapper yeah a lot of people scam i don't know if it's a scam so you don't know what's gonna happen somebody might fat finger that's never bought one before that has a lot of money say somebody has a two thousand there somebody might buy one on accident but that's a lot of money to buy an accident but uh it's not out of and who knows if they really try when you put something for three million that might just mean you don't want to sell it I don't even know why you would waste your time, but that's where you get horses that are between like five hundred and seven hundred dollars. That's where you gotta really do your research, and that's another thing. I just bought horses willy nilly, but now I know kind of how it works and a lot of stuff. You know, you don't have to m get involved monetarily, but it helps to have some money just so you don't have to think because you're gonna waste some money. You can't. You just gotta. I mean, not. A, you don't have to waste money, but you know. Just getting involved sometimes costs a little bit of money, and then you don't know what getting involved means, you know? Like, oh shit, I bought a horse, now how do I get my horse to race? And then you gotta figure out how to, you know, there's a bunch of little things, just like learning a crafting menu for a new game or something. But, all right, that's enough for one day, huh, Sluggy? <laughs> that's what I've been doing, man. So, soak it in, and uh, I'll be around whenever you need a question, dude. When every because trust me there's no one in my world my girlfriend finally just started getting it and she's showing people at work and she's like i don't even know what i bought I don't know. I, it's cool though right I was, <laughs> well yeah but so i think the best you can buy will get you some ones that you can incorporate with a game and have some fun yeah man thanks for stopping by man i'll be streaming more 
So speaking of that, there's a, a pinball. Some guys are going to let me test a pinball game that they're going to sell. So beta test an NFT. Uh, it's not a pinball. I don't know what games are on it, but I will be able to play that game. <laughs> and uh, so that'll probably be in a couple of weeks. So I'll be streaming a little bit more and more. But uh, yeah, dude, trust me. It takes the smartest people. <laughs> it doesn't make you feel any better. The smart people, trust me, it's not you, it's everybody. And just that's what's gonna separate you from the, is just getting it done. Just getting that stupid wallet and you know, you you don't wanna tell people, like you tell older people, cause or like your uncle and stuff, or parents are like, what the fuck, you're gonna get scammed. You're only gonna get scammed if you, <laughs> you're buying, you're not, you're not, you could, buy a ton of one currency like ten thousand, and wait till it to go low and high but that's not the game we're playing we're playing the game of buying something right before it becomes popular and selling it and i've got some good sources and uh so you just gotta learn so take the next month and just learn get yourself familiar and we'll, we'll do it make some money and laugh in a year or two from now <laughs> anyways till then have a good rest of your day as always, do the right thing and uh, keep it positive. Yeah, you will throw away some money, though, and you just got to pretend it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Because there's always going to be something you, you sold too soon or didn't buy when you wanted to, but it's so much fun. And the worst case, you have an NFT that's not worth anything. At least you still got something, and you, you learn. It actually, paying for knowledge sounds cl cliche, but you do pay for knowledge. <laughs> Just because the experience in the NFT world, the experience takes money because you'll make mistakes. But anyways, see you guys later. Without disappointment, you can't appreciate victory. Great kid, don't get cocky. He's dead, Captain. Great kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. The force is strong. All right, so and everybody else that watches is back down the road in YouTube land. I'll see you guys later and uh, NFTs. Bye. Oh, I <laughs> hit chat to end it. Man.